their own uh, you know, share. share. Uh, farm would take their own share, and then uh, uh, the, the, the the ones that control the weather would, uh, you know, all right. Yeah, Nymet, uh, 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 Nama. Yeah, they keep they keep paying all sorts of bills, and then can you can you park your airplane? Landing charges. So by the time you have paid off all this, and with the current increase in the price of uh, aviation jets and, and by the way in uh, commercial aviation uh, fuel constitutes between 35 and 40 percent of the cost of each flight well wow. yes it constitutes between 35 and 40 percent of the cost of each flight you make from one point you know, to the other, no matter how short and no matter how long, you know, that, that, that flight is, 40%. So, if you, if you now find airlines going through what they are going through right now in Nigeria with the, as of yesterday, it was said that aviation fuel has shot up to 590 um, per liter. Per liter. Oh, wow. As a 2021, they were doing about 190. And at that time, some of us were screaming that that was unacceptable. It was, it was just too high. And nobody knew. So, 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 so invariably, you are saying that we should not blame the airline operators no, for the hike no. and the fear. It's, but, it's, what, but, 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 it's a product of, it's a product of accumulation of planlessness. Okay. That brought us to this point. Okay. So let's look at issue of operations. F you you mentioned earlier on uh, flight delays mm -hmm. and uh, charter of rights of passengers says if you are delayed for over one hour you should be given some to refreshment. If you are delayed for maybe six hours you have to be provided accommodation if you are. Uh, if you if your flight is uh, cancelled, oh, that's so beautiful, beautiful, language. but oh. work never gets done. So I, I, I let, let me give you my practical experience, uh, Mr. Ike. I, I I I am scheduled for a program in Ibadan uh, uh, on December 16, 2020, 2020, and I was to arrive a day before, and the the flight was an evening flight. We waited for like five hours, and the flight was cancelled. And we were asked to go to come back the following day at seven in the morning. No provision, no refreshment, no provision of any uh, uh, accommodation and everything. The announcement was just that the flight has been cancelled, and you have to come back somewhere uh, if you still want to make the flight. And the following day, we were there. Same way. Meanwhile, that's the day events I'm having in about was to start. And we got to the airport and we didn't take off until 11 a.m. Another four hours delay, no refreshment, nothing. And, 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 and eventually, when we got to Ibadan, it was uh, because it's this propeller plane, you know, those oh, I don't yes. want to be. Yeah. So, 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 so we, 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 it took us more than an hour getting to Ibadan. So, before you. Uh, you get your luggage and all of that. So it was already past uh, midday for a program that will start at 10. So, so, so we missed uh, quite a valuable. And, 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 and the impunity. Uh, there were three judges on that flight. There were senior lawyers on that flight. There was a lady who was going to defend a PAD who needed to be on ground the day before the defense and all of that. And the, the, the airline never showed any serious sympathy for the, 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 what they have made us to go through. Because having to come back from the airport, find somewhere to sleep in Abuja, if I don't have a home in Abuja, where am I supposed to sleep? So all of this, that's just an example of what I've gone through. And like as many other uh, airlines. Uh, I do understand your point, but let me tell you what I know about human nature. When people find themselves in an environment where there are no consequences for bad behavior, the likelihood is that they're not going to change. Exactly. So, um, the uh, so-called 
the Bill of Rights is not being enforced. And uh, once in a while, those in authority, for instance, a few weeks ago, uh, Honorable Minister Hadi Sereka was quoted to have uh, said, I uh, hope it is true, uh, to have said that uh, any airline that delayed passengers for two hours, suppose two hours, must refund their money. It's not enough to come out as the man at the helm of affairs and make such an announcement and you don't follow it up with action. I was waiting to hear that an enforcement committee had been set up because for, for a man in that position to come out and tell the world that and, uh, more of saying enough of the nonsense. Mm -hmm. If you delay passengers for upwards of two hours, they must get back their money. And then he quickly set, set up <coughs> um, an enforcement uh, team that will ensure that when such a thing happens and people lay a report, not a matter of going to court to waste your time. Instantly, the airlines will be sanctioned and the, um, uh, what they are supposed to, uh, to do the seen to be done. You see, if you don't have that kind of environment, no one gets serious and no one will, you know, be, uh, you know, responsible. I can, I can quickly tell you how it works so that you see... No, no, I want us to quickly talk okay. about something else. All right, go ahead. The issue of corruption in the aviation sector. Uh, what, what's your take? Two of the former Minister of Aviation are currently uh, answering for corruption charges. Uh, I don't want to mention him. I know, I know one, one, one man, one, one woman. Is that part of the rot in the system? Why? why, why uh, and uh, you, of course, all the sharp practices that also gets done uh, by airline uh, you know, staff and all of that. What, what's your take on how do we cop corruption well, in the in the aviation sector? My experience is that first of all they are averse to advice, averse to um, good ideas, um, and the place looks like an enclave. Even the even the ministers that are appointed to work in there. From my observation, it seems that no matter how good you are, as soon as you walk into that enclave, you get sucked in. Mm. And you are probably, until you get there, you will never understand this, what this mm. description I'm giving to you. It, it will appear that they get in there and they get sucked in and they are helpless and then business goes as usual. Uh, I say this because I have had an opportunity of being of spending one and a half hours on air on NTA with uh, our current uh, minister, a man I admired so much, and I, being a pilot himself, I thought, hey, this one should be enthusiastic about getting things done, and I remember on that fateful day on NTA. The whole world was watching us for one and a half hours. And I, I asked him a question. I said, you've invested so much money to fix some of the important equipment we need for safe landing. But I, Honorable Minister, I see something going on wrong that I don't understand. It, it, it's supposed to be that as airports and the environment and equipment are rising up in the skies, airlines will also rise with them. That is to say, it should be directly proportional. Mm. But what we have, what we have on, on our hands is that they are inversely proportional. You are building up and this one is, is heading down. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I wish we had more time to, to be able to go deeper than this. Maybe some other time uh, we we'll invite you over to look uh, maybe for an hour-long discussion around this. Yeah. I want to thank you, Godi Ike, for, for coming on the show. Uh, viewers, that will be the size of uh, our development focus with Gideon Joe on ITV today, the 9th of uh, 
uh, March 2022. Uh, if you have enjoyed this edition, please do stay tuned. A fresh edition will come on your way uh, next Wednesday. Don't forget this program is up for sponsorship and advert placement. Bye for now.